Of course the world ends. You did it to us. You and Year Zero, Road to Eden, is, we like to call it a tactical adventure. The gameplay is a mix of real-time stealth uh, that seamlessly moves into this uh, turn-based tactical combat. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You start playing as uh, ducks and bombmen, who are two stalkers, who are from this place called the Ark. And a stalker's job is to go out into the zone, which is what they call the post-apocalyptic wasteland, and look for scrap and things that could be used to help the people continue to survive. That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boombox. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Yeah, so the Ark, your only safe haven. Uh, of course, this is your kind of your classic hub. It, it's the place where you live. It's like a collection of mutants who have come together. What it does for our mutants in this game is that you can go back there to upgrade your weapons. Anything from more grenade damage to unlocking extra equipment slots to even getting a discount in the shop. Uh, and then, of course, you have the Elder, the mysterious person who keeps giving you small tidbits of uh, maybe what happened before. You know, it's a bit strange how he seems to know a lot more than anybody else about the zone and what goes on. And you unravel his story as well as you play and progress. The story of the video game connects uh, to the pen and paper RPG. Uh, it's not one to one. I mean, it's a pen and paper RPG. It doesn't have a story, right? It's completely open. But there is a meta plot in the pen and paper, uh, which we are following. But one of the pillars of this game is to explore the world, right? And find out what happened to this world that you're in. And then, uh, very importantly, it's set in a very local environment that we all know, which was one of the, the things that it was always encouraged in the mutant pen and paper games, to put this where you live, so you know the area, but now it's 500 years later, or whatever age you think it is. Half his studio is uh, ex-Hitman developers, and we're, we're big fans of tactical games. We all play them quite a lot, and the one thing that started to become obvious to us was that no one's really experimenting with the formula that much. So we thought that we would um, take the tactical genre, which is a, a really solid rule set, and then just see, okay, how far can we push this? And we look at the things that people find really annoying in tactical games and see if we can solve that. And we concentrated a lot on the, the getting in and out of tactical combat and bringing some of the the stealth experience we have from making the, the Hitman games and applying that to, to our universe. What we're trying to do a little bit different is to take the initial part of a tactical combat game where you're kind of setting up and planning your thing, we put that part into real time to speed up kind of the loop with that. That gave us the opportunity to tell the story while you're the voyeur. As Hitman developers, we know that this works really well, right? Like, when you're walking through, we can also tell a bit of story while you're setting up your, your uh, ambush. Check that guy out. You see him? Head like an infected mushroom. He's one of the Nova sect. Bogeymen with big heads. Didn't think they were real. When you're in the zone and you become under stress, and when you get like a, a rush of endorphins, then mutations become unlocked. You gain them through experience, uh, very similar to something like a skill tree. However, we allow you to switch. Different combinations of these mutations will allow for different types of benefits. You unlock more during your playthrough, so you get more options on how to approach a certain fight. But you also meet new mutants that you recruit, and they, uh, they all have a few mutations that are specific to them. But we're not going to give up all their gameplay, we want some surprises. Mm -hmm. 